Hi, my name is Shelby and I'm going to be your student nurse today and I am here to give you your intramuscular and your subcutaneous uh, injections today. And before we get started, I'm going to close the curtain for your privacy. And can you tell me your name and your date of birth for me? Robert Weldon and my birthday is September 14th, 1993. Perfect. And do you have any allergies I need to be aware of? No, ma'am, I do not. You do not? Okay, before we get started, I'm going to perform hand hygiene. And because we have intramuscular, I'm going to be using a 20 to 23 gauge needle because I have 1.5 milliliters of uh, medication that I need to draw up. And I'm going to take it, open it, and put it on my syringe, which is a one to three milliliter syringe, which I can use for I am. Okay. And for my uh, subcutaneous, I need to have a um, I have 0.5 milliliters of solution and I need to have a 25 to 27 gauge needle, which I have. I have my syringe right here too. And um, for that one, I'm using an ampule right here and I have a filter straw for it, but I'll do that part in a minute get it all set up. Okay, now for the injection sites. For the intramuscular site, we have the deltoid, and I'm going to find the chromium process, put it down, and get the uh, injection right here. For the vastus lateralis, can you put your leg towards me, please? Thank you. And I'm putting my hand on the greater trochanter, and I'm binding the platella, and I'm going up, and I'm going to inject it right here in the vastus lateralis. Um, can you bend your leg again for me, towards me? Thank you. Okay, I'm putting my hand right here. I'm gonna use my other hand, my non-dominant, and I would give my injection right here, careful to avoid the iliac crest, and this is the ventral gluteal. Okay, and can you turn your back for me? Thank you. I would find his, this is gonna be for his dorsal gluteal injection site. I'm gonna find the ischial spine. And can you bend your leg out for me? Thank you. And putting my greater trochanter, I'm gonna come meet and give it right there in the dorsal gluteal. Um, careful not to go too far down to avoid the sciatic nerve. Okay, thank you. And can you turn around in front? And for the subcutaneous injections, I would do it in the stomach, two inches away from the umbilicus in the upper quadrant and the lower quadrant. Um, and the top of the thighs with the adipose tissue. And can you turn around for me, please? Thank you. And the posterior of the upper arms, the upper back, and the lower back. Thank you. Those were all for my subcutaneous. Now I'm going to get my medications ready. Um, I'm administering 0.5 milliliters of solution. I have my vial. The expiration date it has not passed yet, so I can use it. And I'm going to, because it has been used before, I'm going to take my alcoholic. Uh, pad and clean it and now I'm going to select my intramuscular um, syringe going to put air in it and I have 1.5 I'm gonna loosen the cap I'm gonna go down into the vial inject my air and pull down and select, get my medication. Okay, I'm at 1.5. I'm pulling out and I'm uh, getting all the air bubbles out. The air bubbles are out and I have 1.5 milliliters of solution. Okay, now I'm going to safely recap my needle because I have not given it to the patient yet. And now I'm gonna prepare my um, Ampule solution, which is this is going to be administered sub Q, so administer 0.5 milliliters of solution in or sub Q uh, using an ampule. So I have my ampule here, and I would make sure there's no medication in the top of the ampule by swirling it. And now I'm going to take my alcoholic prep pad, take it, and pop it away from me. So there we go, it is open. And now I'm going to take the glass piece and put it into the sharps container. Now I'm going to take my filter straw, open it, I'm careful not to break sterility. And now I'm going to twist it on the syringe and pull it out. And I'm going to just kind of break the capsule on it. Okay. And now I'm going to 
insert it into the vial and draw up 0.5 milliliters of medication. Just making sure we have 0.5. We don't want to get too much. Get out the air bubbles. And I have 0 0.5 milliliters of solution. So now I'm going to take off my filter straw and put it into the sharps container and take my uh, needle and twist it on. And the needle is a 25 gauge. And for subcutaneous, you can do a 25 to 27 gauge needle. So I am good there. And now I'm going to put it right there. Okay, now I'm going to put on gloves. And bring on gloves. Okay, I'm going to do my first, I'm going to do my intramuscular injection and it's at 1.5 so I'm going to um, give it in the um, ventral gluteal. I'm going to take my alcoholic prep pad. I'm going to take it and I'm going to find my area. So I said uh, ventral gluteal, left ventral gluteal. I'm going to put it, place my non-dominant, or well first going to take my syringe and loosen the cap on it for the intramuscular. Loosen my cap and now I'm going to take my non-dominant hand, wipe it down, and I'm going to go at a 90 degree angle for intramuscular. So go down and I would inject it. And now I'd put the um, needle in the sharps container without recapping and again um, with now with the subcutaneous I'm going to do it in the left posterior back of the arm and I'm going to clean it with an alcohol pad put my non-dominant hand pinch up and for um, a subcutaneous you can do a 90 or a 45 degree angle so I'm going to take my needle take it pinch it go down, inject it, and apply pressure. Now I'm gonna throw it into the sharps container and throw that in the sharps container and I would apply pressure. And if the patient needed it, I would put a Band-Aid on there. So apply pressure, I'm gonna throw all of my uh, sharps away. I don't have any more sharps out. I'm gonna take off my gloves. Um, do hand hygiene. And now I'm going to do my MAR. I'm going to put that I put it in the left uh, ventro left ventro gluteal with my initials. And with my subcutaneous, I'm going to say left posterior arm with my initials. I'm going to do my signature. And so I filled out my MAR.